know, Instagram, you know, you know, you miss the social media right here, man. You miss YouTube, yeah. This is just YouTube. This is YouTube live. You fancy, you fancy, man. You know, I look, I just put on for the people. Somebody got to go. You photo I man. This dude sure. well, this dude well known all over the land, man. He be famous. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I do it. I, I, you know, it's, you know, uh, I've been doing this for ten years now. So I don't know how long you've been about somebody. It's kind of like I've been like, trading for, I've been trading for over ten years. So yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So like, th like this whole thing is new to people. But like my person, like what I do is is not new. Like this is something that I've been doing for like a long time. So. Yeah, yeah, I've heard about you and your wife a long time ago, man. You know, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, so yeah, so I've heard about you know I, I know I've heard about y'all ages ago. Yeah, I, I, all right. So all right, all right, people, all right, people showing up. Bet, what's up, squad? What's up, Marcus? Portrait. What's up, C Wick? Okay, cool. People in here. All right, cool. Sweet bet. So we can uh, start talking. What up, Stan? Stan the man. <clears throat> oh, is that Stan Low? Not Stan Low. That's this is Stan Stan Mo. <laughs> it's different. <laughs> <laughs> they know each other too, though. <laughs> this is Stan Mo. Yeah, the, yeah, I know. I know Stan too, man. Uh, Mister uh, uh, Celebrity Exploring Extraordinary. <laughs> What's up, uh, Angelo? Okay, yeah, Jamaica. D Mac. Oh yeah, everybody pulling up. What's up, Will? What's up, Kevin? I'm looking at it on. I could just read it right here. I'm looking at the joint. Anyways. Okay, so what's up, folks? Welcome back to Quarantine Conversations. We're getting this thing going again. First of all, you guys, let me know how do I sound? Like, is this sound does it sound good? Because I'm not worried. I can see the thing. Like, is my audio delayed? Like, how is this good? He said great version value. Stand low, <laughs> be great. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, let me salute everybody That's else in there. Squad boy, Marcus, Tony, Graffiti, Andre Door, Andre Sons, D Mike, D Mike, Will. E dub. Okay, all right. So we good. So we good. Sweet. Clean. All right. Sweet. All right. So back to what I was saying. Um, what's up, folks? Hope everybody's doing good. Hope everybody's staying healthy and corona free. All right. Um, I've been wanting to have this conversation with this guy for a long time. Finally got the time to sit down and do it. Uh, I'm kind of I ain't got no script. Anyways, um, <laughs> today. Today, I am talking with my good friend, Corey, all right? I met Corey like two weeks ago. He already my good friend, but we don't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, he said, I see you finally using that cam link. Uh, yeah, Stan, I'm using the joint using the Z6. Um, yeah, I met Corey uh, back at Vegas at WPPI. We did the, um, he, he attended the photo walk. How'd you find out at like a, like, Cause I felt like you um, had went with a boy. I forgot his name. Oh yeah, um, yeah, Gareth. Man, he told me about it. He yeah. said, "Hey, this guy Ike." I was like, "I know, I know about Ike." He's like, "You want to come? Yeah, I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come to it. Check it out. It was good. Sweet, really sweet, good. Sweet. Yeah, yeah. So you popped. And do you you had a good time? Great time. Really good time. Okay, you guys, you guys. I see you got a bang. I started to take your image, but I didn't want to, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great, like, time. You great time. You had a you had a good picture of uh of um what's her name? I can't think of her name right now. Um my girl, what's her what's her name? I'm gonna lost the words. The picture Sorry. you took of her. Yeah, oh I know the picture. I'm gonna lost the words. Mariah. Mariah. You took yeah, a picture right. of Mariah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh it Squabble, so my name is Corey too. Yeah, I see. I see. Um, um, yeah, you took a, a dope picture, of Mariah, and you had the EOS R. So you a Canon shooter, right? I am. Love Canon. Canon all day. So you got the EOS R, and what what cameras? Let's talk photographers. What what cameras do you have? Like what like what is your thing? Um, five D Mark Three, Mark Four, EOS R, and then all the L lenses, pretty much. 
Oh, Dan, so you stacked out. A little bit, a little bit. Yeah. How you liking that uh, EOSR? Amazing camera, great quality. I can't wait to buy the R uh, with the R5. Looking forward to buy that too, man. When the pop when it comes out. Oh, okay. You stacked out, so you 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 can nah, buy that day man. one. Nah, <laughs> I'm gonna sell. I'm gonna sell other stuff, man. I, I'm gonna sell other stuff to get that. Nah, man. I'm gonna sell it. I'm gonna sell the things. <laughs> and a game uh, all day, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Night cop boys in the building tonight. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but no, 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 no. So you shoot cannon. Do you shoot weddings? Uh, like what? what I, th I felt like you said you had shot weddings when we talked. Or like, yeah, I, mainly, or I, I mainly shoot weddings. Um, a lot of you know, I I shoot I wed, and then I do the maternity pictures and then the family pictures. So I kind of keep in that ecosystem. You know, keeping okay, got gotcha. you. So you start with the wedding, and you just kind of keep them in a circle. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. That's a that's a that's a that's a nice little uh, nice little thing you got going. On. And how's that going for you? How's that working out with this COVID situation? Have you like you're in Dallas, right? I am Dallas, Texas. Okay. Yeah. So you out of Dallas? You out of Dallas? You out there with Keijun and those guys? You know? yes. um, how is how is life in Dallas right now with this whole uh, COVID thing going? On? Like, are people trying to book you for shoots? What's that? Yeah, we still booking shoot. I actually shot three shoots with my drone. So I've done about three to four sessions with my drone only. I stayed in my car. I flew it out the window. <laughs> did, did you really? I'm serious. Yo, <laughs> yo wow. <laughs> I thought hey, man, this money be made. Doing it with huh? This money be made, man. Social distancing all day. You know. I, I ain't mad. At it. I get, get your money, King. <laughs> where my yeah, where my Mavic Pro? Two yeah. Uh, that's dope. Um, I'm just putting up the comments. <laughs> he said, "What?" <laughs> oh, Garvey's Cannon Gang too. <clears throat> okay, cool. So, um, so you are still booking shoots, but the reason I have you here today is not because of your photography, even though that's that's cool. Um, you are a day trader. You're a stock investor, right? Yes. And I remember you saying that like photography is your side hustle. It's like it just is. something you kind of do. What, what, like, what, what, what is it about photography? Like, if you have a successful, essentially a successful business in day trading, why would you even like bother to pick up a camera? That's a good question. Um, I love it. I love the art. I love taking dope photos, taking images. I love helping people keep those images forever because I know once I take pictures of them, I'm forever a part of their life. I'm forever involved with them for you know until the end of time. And I love that. I love creating. Just beautiful images. That's dope. You know? that's, that's, that's dope. That's dope. Somebody said, explain the process. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looking up drones now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I have a drone, so I have an idea of how it works, but I'm guessing, like, if nobody's ever used a drone, which one do you have? The Mavic Pro 2. Oh, yeah, you got that one in the sensor, so you straight yeah, out. Yeah, with the Apple bag camera, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 you got the, uh, the it, HQ. It takes, raw <laughs> it, takes, it takes raw pictures, too, so you can take it shooting raw. Yeah, I love that camera. Oh, yeah, that's right. The you know, the, the, new Mac, the new Mavic 2 is doing 48 megapixels now. That's just in time, because now you can stand a little bit further back and crop it even further and get 48 yeah. megapixels. So that's not a bad that's not a bad move right now. <laughs> they came with yeah, that. Uh, exactly. Okay, cool. So, um, so why don't you talk to us about like your stock investing? So, you guys, let me just tell you what's going on. So, the reason I wanted to have a conversation with Corey on live on live stream is because he's a day trader, and I used to, I don't know if you guys heard me joke before, but I always would say like if it wasn't if I wasn't a photographer, I was well on my way of trying to be a day trader or a swing trader or some kind of trader way back way back in like two thousand nine. Um, cause the, the, the market crashed in like 2008, it was like two in the 2007, 2008 was a big crash. Um, me and Tosh were like saving the money cause we were almost going to move back to Virginia, but cause she was trying to get a job, but that fell through. So we ended up moving in with some family friends. Like they had this nice big house out, out in, um, in Gig Harbor. And we ended up moving in with them and staying in a room and saving up a bunch of money and paying off a bunch of debt. And while we were there, she uh, had surgery done and, um, uh, had uh, some some surgery done with her foot, so she couldn't like really move around a lot. So she picked up the camera, and around the same time she picked up the camera, I started uh, 
looking into stocks and stuff because I was seeing how like the companies were going. Remember Citibank and that whole situation with them? Yeah. <laughs> and I remember they were like super, they were like down to like a dollar a share. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna buy a bunch of Citibank because I was, again, you guys know I used to work for Comcast. I used to make commission checks and I was really good at my job. So I got really good commission checks and we we're staying at a house with these people paying off debt. So I got a, I had a lot of extra money. So I'm put my money in the stocks thinking like oh i'm gonna flip my money make it back three four ten times <laughs> yeah well you see where i am now so anyway <laughs> spoiler alert that didn't work <laughs> <laughs> <It's a spoiler. laughs> so um but it was just very and i like because i was seeing these companies and i i used to work i was I, when i worked for um I'm about to say, to say, when I worked for Comcast, like I would take calls, people would call to cancel their service, and I was retention. So I was the guy who was like, hey, you know what? Don't cancel your service. What can we do to make you stay? Um, do you need a discount? I would give people a discount, whatever it is to keep them as a customer, right? And then we get commissioned there. But one thing I realized is like, this is when I was learning about stocks and stuff. And I, what got me off about stocks was talking to a customer on the phone. I talked to this guy. He was like, yeah, I invested in Jones Soda. Every time around football season, I put some money into Jones Soda stock because they are like we're about to see it. They were like a local company, and the Seahawks supported them. So like when the Seahawks would play, like their stuff would go up. And I was like, you know, yeah, I just made like eight hundred bucks. I'm like, wait, what? So working at Comcast really got me into stocks. Before that, I didn't really know any better. It just wasn't a thing that popped in my head. But being to talk to a lot of people on the phones and just talking to a, a bunch of different people about a bunch of different things, you pick up a few things if you're listening, if you're keen on like what people are saying. So he had talked about the stocks right around that time. I remember I got to a new position because this was in billing and then I went to retention and then I started paying attention to the market crash and then I was like, oh, let me get into stocks and then I'm listening to people calling to cancel cable TV because they have Netflix. And this is around Netflix was probably like around $20, $30 a share, right? We're not going to talk about what Netflix is now because it's, 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 it's frustrating. But yeah. Netflix was around $20 a share, 20 to 30 And around that time, I was canceling people's cable TV because they had Netflix. And they was like, oh, I'm switching to Netflix. Or I don't need this internet. I don't need cable TV. So in that particular area, I had like an insight to like what was going on because most of the time you don't really know you're from the outside looking in. But in that situation, I was in the inside, like seeing people call and cancel. So before the earnings call was going to happen, I knew that we just lost a bunch of different customers to this competitor. And when, when whatever, when the fourth quarter earnings call come around, they're going to rank. <laughs> so I was just like, okay. but I didn't buy any, I didn't invest in any Netflix stock because one, I ain't, I ain't have it like that. And then my mindset was like, you got to have a lot of money. Like I can only afford like one, two stocks. And I just was spending yeah. all that stuff. This is around the time we started photography. So you got to think I'm trying to invest, but we also trying to buy like D nineties, uh, uh, lenses and all that stuff. So photography ain't cheap and neither is trying to invest your money in a way. Yeah. And so, um, I was like, this ain't working for me. And I'm like, $20 a share. If it was $5 a share, sign me up. $20 a share, I ain't, I ain't got it. <laughs> and by so, the way, it's four twenty eight dollars a share right now, man. It's like, oh, Lord. I'm you sorry guys, about that, man. Yeah. No cat. I swear on everything I love. I remember I was working there and I was pe people were canceling. And I was like, dang, Netflix would be a dope buy, but I can only afford like a few shares. <sighs> Anyways, long story short. That's just one of the things that I saw firsthand when it was low and where it is now. And like, if I could have spent, like, if I could go back and spend some money, I would have spent way more money. Like, I bought this ten to twenty-four lens for like nine hundred dollars, right? I could have put that nine hundred dollars into into Netflix and let that sit because I used that lens probably like twenty times in the last ten years that I had it. I could have rented it mm -hmm. those twenty times instead of paying nine hundred dollars for that lens, but. You know, less. You know, we we know now. So, I'm trying to actively like pay more attention now and invest and put extra money. Like I just put like an extra hundred dollars in my um, acorns again. I'm like, let me stop playing around. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all not getting me this time. So, uh, Court. With all that being said, tell us like yeah. what it is that you do. Like how long have you been investing? And what made you start investing? And um, like what kind of 
some advice for like us as as photographers because I know a lot of us are like this, for me this is my this is my primary source of income. Photography is my full time job. There is no four hundred one k for what I do. There is no retirement fund. There is no pension plan for full time photographers. The money that we make, we have to be smart about. So how do we be smart about that? Like how do we invest that money? You know, just that kind of thing. Okay. Well, I'll start off with this. Um, and thank you for having me today too. Um, what I can tell you is that it's so important now to look at the future. It's so important now to to have the the outlook of two, three, four, five years from now. And it, it's very important to understand that um, you don't need a lot of money to invest. You know, I started over 10 years ago with $100. You know, I started with very little and I just took my time. I bought things that I that I used every day. I bought things that I that I always saw on TV. I bought things that I understood how they worked. Um, and you know, the reason I got in the stock market is because I was broke. <laughs> I need I wanted something better. I wanted something. I was in school. I went to school, got my degree in engineering, and I was a college student. And um, you know, worked two jobs, put myself through college. I wanted something better for myself. I wanted something better than than I had growing up. And I knew that um, me going to work every single day, working, you know, 40, 50 hours a week may not get me there. So mm -hmm. I looked on TV and saw these people, you know, trading stocks. You know, I, I didn't have nobody to, go, nobody to go to. So I opened a book, opened you know, websites and learned everything I could. For the first two years, I, I traded paper. And what that means is I, did, I didn't trade with real money, really. You know, I had a, I had a few hundred dollars every once, I, but I would trade with fake money, virtual money. So that way I can learn mm. how it works. I can learn how it moved, how the system really operated. Um, and so it took me time until, you know, you make mistakes, you you make, you know, you mess up, you lose money, you make money. And all, you know, over 10 years I've developed systems. I found out how to you really know, make it work for myself. Um, and so there's, there's lots of ways to make money in this world, but the stock market is one of them and it's very lucrative. Mm. And so um, you, this is your, like, Day trading is what you do, right? This is like, it's not. I'm a, I'm an, in, I work full time as electrical engineer. I do, a, I do programming, and uh, I still find time to invest and do photography and other things. Oh, so you making? Oh, you got all kinds of money coming in left and nah, right. Nah, man, I just try to be comfortable in life, man. That's it. <laughs> That's I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> you comfortable, life. <laughs> yeah. Um, so like. You said you started investing like 10 years ago? Over 10 years ago. What, mm -hmm. Like what, do you remember like what companies that you bought and do you still own any of those uh, companies now? Yeah, I bought Nike. So um, over 10 years ago, Nike was about eight, nine dollars a share. So mm -hmm. I told myself for every pair of Jordans I bought, I buy, you know, 10 shares of Nike. Nike, cool. the, Nike the other day was $80. So I made my money back about 700, 700 times, you know, 7%. You know, I'm still on Nike. Dang! Still on. So you was in, so you was buying Jordans and buying Jordan. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. You know, I, that's dope. Yeah. I, I didn't realize that because I remember like looking at like stocks back in the early '90s, it, and I remember seeing Apple. This is this is before. This is like it's the only one that I paid attention to was Netflix. But like when I actually learned about it, I looked back at stocks that what they used to be. And I remember mm -hmm. seeing Apple, and Apple at one point was like around ten, fifteen dollars a share. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Like imagine buying like a hundred, two, three hundred dollars, a thousand dollars worth of Apple stocks like t fifteen years ago. Like, boy, do you know? Twenty years ago now, because that was exactly about fifteen. Yeah, Apple, today is, yeah, Apple today is about two ninety. So, and they split. Didn't they do a split? They did. They, they did split, a split. They, they, they split like several times. Yeah, I, I pay. I pay a little attention. I, yeah. I see you, man. I, see you. <laughs> I, I know a little. I bit. like that. That's good. Um. Okay. So, the market crash, right? With the 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 the, the sky is falling, basically, right? And I noticed that you've been posting on your Instagram about your returns and stuff. Um. Like, what do you think about the economy and what's going on now? And what people should do? Like, you know. Just give us your advice or like just yeah, general so, so this is my opinion, right? This is mm -hmm. you know, this happens every 10 years. Um every 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 eight to ten years is a market crash. It's a reset. 
you know, mm -hmm. and this is this is now one of the best times to start investing and can I, and kind of getting in for companies that are cheap. A lot of these companies now, you know, we're down 30, 40 percent. So if a company was one hundred dollars, it was 60. If the company was two hundred dollars. It was, you know, maybe 120, 130. So, you know, when the economy comes back, eventually you're almost getting that money back for free. You yeah. know, that, yeah, you know, um, take Disney. Disney, I think, was 160. It, it came down to eighty dollars. Almost wow. cut it at, at one point. And you know, Disney's not going anywhere. Yeah, you know? that's true. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, like, when you talk about investing in companies, are, are you talking about like? Because let's say I'm I'm off the street. I don't know nothing, right? All I all mm -hmm. I know about stock. I don't know anything about price and earnings ratio. I don't know anything about like quarterly. I don't anything. I just know like, you know, Walmart is a store. Yeah, got stocks. Sony got you know Canon. Like let's say I'm a I'm a dumb photographer, right? And I know Canon. Mm -hmm. I know Sony. I know Nikon. Um, I know Apple computers. All that Microsoft stuff, right? Um, is there like a like? It, let's say like somebody just wants to they watch this show, this conversation. They said, "Dang, I want to start investing in the mall." Like, is there like a, a general rule of thumb? Like, is it like look for companies that been around a long time that you think? Aren't going anywhere? Should they like? Is there some just some uh, best practices? Just like I understand. I think the best thing anybody can do if you know nothing about the stock market is to invest into index funds, the Dow Jones, um, the Nasdaq, and the S and P five hundred. You know, I, I think those are great assets, um, great vehicles to invest in. Um, when you invest in individual stocks, it's a little more risky. Um, you're able to have a lot more return your money, but you're opening yourself to more risk. If you do index funds, you're able to kind of spread your risk out and not take the brunt of one company failing. Um, gotcha. you're gonna, so, yeah, index so funds are a good way to go. What is an um, index? In, yeah, an, an index fund easily, guys, um, is a basket of companies. It's a way for you to sell or buy a basket of companies at one time. And so if you buy the Dow Jones, you're buying 30 companies at once. If you buy the S&P 500, you're buying 500 companies. If you're buying the NASDAQ, you're buying over 3,000 companies at once. So um, if you buy the NASDAQ, which is QQQ for an ETF, so you can, yeah, an, an ETF is an exchange traded fund. So again, it's a basket of stocks you can buy or sell for one price. So for $200, you can have over 3,000 companies in portfolio. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. <clears throat> okay. So index is fine. This is what you recommend. Where do I buy index from? Like, let's say I got a hundred, 200, 500 dollars, whatever the amount of money I got. And I want to start tomorrow. Is there a particular like route I should take? Like I use Robinhood, right? Cause mm -hmm. I think I saw it online. I was like, yeah, yeah. I used to use E-Trade cause I used to have the E-Trade app. So I had E-Trade. I know about, um, I think TD Ameritrade or, Mm -hmm. Not TD Ameritrade. It's a different one. Um, I can't think of the name. Fidelity. 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 Yeah. Fidelity. 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 Yeah. Fidelity. Yeah. Fidelity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I, you know. Like, go ahead. I tell everybody this. Um, I think Robinhood is is so. There's different platforms, right? Like there's different mm -hmm. different applications. And, you know, Robinhood is fine. But I always tell people if you're serious and want to invest for the long run. I recommend something like Fidelity or TD Ameritrade or even your own bank, Chase Bank, um, Bank of America, Wells Fargo. You know, there's nothing wrong with Robinhood. My issue is, let's say something happens to your cell phone and you need to access your phone or something. I'm, I'm married. So I something happens to my cell phone and my, and my screen cracks. You know, the only way to get my to Robinhood is to my thumbprint. But what if that's broken? Mm -hmm. Well, now I have to call them. Well, they have a horrible customer service. They really do. Mm. Uh, you can go online and read about it. So my thing is I, I don't place my money anywhere that they don't have their name on the side of Sports Arena. So oh, okay. My right. money is placed in companies that have their names on the sides of Sports Arenas. The big banks. you got Chase. You've got Fidelity. You have um, Bank of America. You have Wells Fargo. Um, I think Allied Bank has one there. Yeah. If it doesn't have a big institution that I can't almost walk in there and, and pop mm -hmm. in and say hi to somebody, I don't place my money in there right now. Mm, okay. All right. Too many big, gotcha. yeah, there's too many big institutions where, you know, customer service is great. And I want to make sure that my money is safe and that mm -hmm. they have good customer service. 
at all times. Gotcha. Okay, all right, cool. So <clears throat> you saying Robin Hood is cool and all, but you personally, your recommendation would be like bigger institutions that like, yes. you know, have are, are reputable. Yes, exactly. Because if they have to give you a free stock, I, I gotta question that sometimes. They have to give you something mm. to entice you. Gotcha. Um, okay, all right, that makes sense. Yeah. That's, you know, you, that's, that's, that's my viewpoint. I like it, but I didn't think about it like that. I was like, oh, you kind of got a point. Like, what if something like happened and yeah, uh, how did it thumbprint? Exactly. Yeah, thumbprint. Yeah, yeah. you can actually access them via the website. Although I, I you had can. Them. You so can. I haven't, we haven't, I haven't crossed that bridge yet, but still, what you're saying. I, I want to walk in. And, yeah, I want to. I want to walk in, and if something happens to me, my wife can walk in tomorrow and say, "Hey, give me all this money. I got you." Mm, got gotcha. you. Okay, so now we're talking about like stocks and stuff. You have like a a, a pop because you do like a class, right? I do. I do. Um, can you tell us about like your class or run us through your little presentation? Because I know you got a yeah, <laughs> a little thing you want to put. Up. You guys, he has like an actual class where he teaches like the ins and outs, and you have like a whole investment group and stuff like that. And so yeah. I don't, I'm not a part of it, so I can't. I'm not like this isn't me trying to vouch for. I, I, this ain't nothing going on inside. This is just a brother I'm having a conversation with, I'm trying to help him put his stuff out there and bring information to you guys so that you have something to do with it because. Um, like I said, there's no investment. There's no like 401k or, or pension plan for photographers. And let's say you do like you work, right? Let's say somebody is working full time job and they're making this extra, you know, money on the side for a portrait mm -hmm. session. Like that. What are you doing with that money? Like, how are you? What are you? Are you putting this money away? Like, because this situation right now, this whole COVID situation and this recession um, got people really out here exposed. <laughs> like, yo, <laughs> You was living check to check, yeah. and the checks start coming. He really got you out here looking crazy. So, like, how do we like take advantage of this situation and make sure that we're prepared for next time? Because as you said, this happens every couple years, and yeah. you know, like I know, like I said, when I learned eight years to almost ten years ago, when the first crash happened, well, the first crash that I was aware of. Um, and I didn't take advantage of it. I'm like, okay, this is part two. Like, this is my chance to try it again. Don't exactly. be stupid with the money. Don't don't get desperate to pull the money out and go buy it. Like, yo, know, just really sit on this and watch these companies and pay attention to what's going on. So, um, can you take us through like like a little? Um, yeah, of course I can. Out. And Ike's right. I have. Um, it's a free class. I don't charge for this. I don't sell anything. I don't want anything. Um, I just do this so that way I can get back. For me, it's so important. It's it's so important to um, be able to kind of help everybody understand that this is a way to make money. This is a way to get out of any situation that you want to be out of. Um, and unfortunately, we weren't taught these things growing up. A lot of us weren't aware of how this works or how to make money outside of the nine to five job. And so many people in this world make a lot of money in the stock market. And so, real quick, I'm kind of gonna. So I love this slide. This slide is everything to me. Um, this kind of mm -hmm. explains why I invest. Um, you know, if you had five hundred dollars back in two thousand nine, you know, you could invest. You could have invested and bought into these five companies. You know, each you could have bought either five thousand. You know, five. You could have five thousand dollars. You could have bought Walt Disney or Netflix or Apple. How much money? For five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars could have. You could have bought five well five hundred dollars. You could have bought um, twenty four shares of um, Walt Disney, and then ten years later would have been worth one thirty two. Um, Netflix, you could have bought you know share. You could have bought five thousand shares at five dollars. Uh -huh. In twenty nineteen, you know, been worth this. This is real money. This, this is real dollars. This is real figures. Uh, this is all online. This is not made up. So this is the power of the stock market. This is the power of investing. So, I mean, I got $500 in my pocket right now. I just, yeah. <laughs> you know, my check coming in tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, so this, 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 is, this, is, this is, this is, um you know, I told y'all that I, I bought and I have that own Nike still. You know, there's nothing wrong with buying things and purchasing things that you like, but you have to ask yourself if you're buying something. Why can't you make money from what you're buying as well? You know, make money off your money. 
you know? Mm, that's if true. You love, that's if you true. love Louis Vuitton stock, if you love Louis Vuitton, go buy some Louis Vuitton stock. That's a better big flex right there because that dude got a whole lot of Nikon cameras. Don't own that one share Nikon. Exactly. <laughs> did you know that? Did, hey, I, did you know that Louis Vuitton, the stock that is Hennessy, Louis Vuitton, Da Vinci, they all, they're all one stock. It's all one company. What do you mean? It's one company? I'll let me. Let, oh, am, am, am I now my screen sharing? Hold on. I'll, let me. Yeah, let me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me. Uh, let me. Let me just. It is. So Moet, Hennessy, Louis Vuitton, Sephora, Christian Dior, Fendi, it's all one, it's all under same. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah. 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 Lord, so if sorry. you love some Hennessy, then go buy some Hennessy stock. <laughs> <laughs> if you love some Louis Vuitton, then you know I tell my wife all the time if for every for every bag she buys, we have to buy three shares of Louis Vuitton. Mm. Or if we buy a bottle of Hennessy, I gotta buy, I gotta buy a Hennessy, I gotta buy some Louis Vuitton, I gotta buy some stock. Mm, that's good, that's good, that's good. You know what? It's interesting you put it that way, right? Because if you if you investing in the company that means you're purchasing into purchasing you're basically voting for a brand that you believe in that you think will be here for the long term that you like their quality why wouldn't you invest in that company like exactly in that one company too that that makes like because i'm like as much nikon stuff as i own i'm like uh would i invest in nikon as a company because you know with the situation but i'm like but i i do personally feel like nikon ain't going nowhere that they're, they're going to be okay so why wouldn't i buy nikon stock now that's just one thing but like you said the whole louis vuitton like i mean i can't afford a louis bag but i mean i could probably afford a couple of shares of louis vuitton stock that's why i might buy my wife for, uh, for christmas instead of buying her for mother's day instead of buying her the bag i'm gonna get her a couple of shares see what she do adobe stock why don't you if we use oh. photoshop and lightroom why don't you buy adobe stock Mm. I'm gonna buy Caps One stock though. Man. <laughs> <laughs> one. My point is, <laughs> one <spot. Yeah. laughs> no, I get you, number. Yeah. yeah, my point is, you know, invest. You know, if you're going to support these organizations and these companies, why not reap the benefits from the profits they make? Yeah, that's true. That's very true. That's super insightful. That's super insightful. Yeah. But yeah, what's the uh, next page on your um? Oh, of course. Let's see. Let's get down to um. Let's get down to so let's talk about asset vehicles, right? Um, okay. Yeah, let's talk about just four hundred one ks and solo four hundred one ks and IRAs and Roth. All these are just asset vehicles. Um, okay. That you're able to. Yeah, there's a, there's asset vehicles, and essentially these allow you to invest and to um invest in the future and the trade the trade stocks so i think you know a lot of us have 401k go ahead I no, I was gonna say. So the four hundred one k, I know four hundred one k is if you have a job, and IRA is if you don't have a job, right? Or if you so like, the difference four hundred one k is pre tax, and so you can do so right now. You can do a solo four hundred one k, which is individual. You don't have to have a job to have a four hundred one k. You can have your own. You can have your own. Your own individual four hundred one k. Four hundred one k's are are pre tax, and your IRA is post is uh, pre tax, and your Roth IRA is post tax. So three of these three of these are pre tax. Your Roth is post tax. Wait, pre. So what's the difference in pre tax versus like which one is better? Like how does that work out? I think you know. It's, it's a difference on opinion, you know. Um, so do you want to tax now or later? If you do pre-tax, you're going to invest your money before it's taxed. So when you retire one day, you're going to pay some tax rate. It could be higher. It could be lower. We know that it'll probably be higher. Taxes is going to go down. If you do post-tax, you're going to invest with money after your taxes come out. So after you retire, you, never, you will never pay taxes on the money on the gains you made from trading. So let's say you make a million dollars in your Roth IRA, you won't pay tax on that. If you make a million dollars in your 401k, you're gonna pay tax on that. Mm. So what you're saying is, um, 
I should do right now where Trump is president, I should do pretext right now. And then when they hire a Democrat, I do post, do, yeah. uh, do post, because the tax company. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it exactly. is low right now. <laughs> then, then, right now, why it's good, because I know if, in a couple years, when the Democrat, the tax rate That's will be good. Idea. That's a good idea. <laughs> I'm going to be glad I invested with it. Where my, where my red hat? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> she. <laughs> my twelve hundred. I'm putting my twelve hundred dollars in pre-tax because <laughs> I know when Biden get in, it's like, all right, I'm, I'm glad I took my tax out eight years ago. Don't try to get me now. <laughs> hilarious! Hilarious, man! Hilarious. Um. I'm, yeah, I was trying to see. So here's a very important slide I love. Um, mm -hmm. Talk about dividends, right? A company will pay you out the profits for just having them. Mm -hmm. So you have a company and you own stock of them, they'll pay you a percentage. A lot of companies pay out dividends. They'll pay you just to own them. So let's go back to that Louis Vuitton stock, right, I was talking about. So okay. if you go on Google, you can go on Google and type in any company that's public and type in the word after it's stock, and you look down here, it'll say dividend yield. They'll pay you a percentage off the number of shares you have. So if you have $2,000 worth of um, Louis Vuitton stock, they'll pay you 2% of that. If you got $20,000 of Louis Vuitton stock, they'll pay you 2% of that. So you understand that if you're buying Louis Vuitton bags, why not have them buy you a bag? Mm, over the over the time, like over time, yeah. you, you have it. Okay, all right. Exactly. Why not have Nike? You said you have Nike? Yeah, what about Nike? Yeah, why, why don't, if you love Air Jordans, why don't you buy Nike stock and let them pay for your Air Jordans? You know, it's 1%, but it's better than nothing. You know, um, it, it's all about perspective. You know, you're not nice. your money. Why not have your money work for you? Hmm. Somebody said, uh, what about feudal? How do you get a piece of the action? That's interesting because gas is not cheap right now. Is like fuel like a a, 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 a good long-term play? Like, what do you think about fuel? I think gas, I think oil. So we use the word oil, right? I think oil is a long-term play. We're never going to be done. We're not going to be done with for a long time. You know, so if I were to invest in oil the day, it'd be in the big companies like Exxon, Shell, um, I'm in Texas, so there's a lot of companies in Texas that draw oh, yeah. um, Conoco Phillips, the big boys, you know. So, yeah, I remember. I, so my mom, she's a traveling like nurse tech, whatever like that. And she had like a, a stint in Midland, Texas. And I remember uh, she had her job had transferred her from Midland to like L.A. or California, basically. And so I had to I flew into Dallas. We drove from Dallas to Midland, which is like two, four hours. How, how, yeah. I think Midland's like, is it two hours or four hours? It's um, Midland, Texas. I think it's about three and a half hours from Dallas, I believe. Yeah, I want to say three and a half. Either like, run that three, four hours. So she picked me up. We had a dinner at Papa Doc's or whatever, which is that's delicious. Um, yeah, <laughs> Papa Dudes or whatever that place is. Oh, <laughs> Papa Doc's. <Dudes. laughs> Whatever, yeah. And then yeah. the next day, she, she packed. We like packed up. She had two cars. We packed the cars and we drove from Midland to basically LA. Uh, but we did. We spent the night at like uh, I think halfway through. We, we drove like eight hours and then because it's like an eighteen-hour job total. So we drove the first half, spent the night, woke up, and then drove the second half of it. So, mm -hmm. but I remember driving through Midland and seeing like the oil things, and I was like, oh, because yeah. I had never seen that before. And I was like, oh, y'all Texas don't play about that oil. Like, <clears throat> no, we don't play. Crazy. But um, yeah, what is this I want to I wanna get into guys. If you're, if you don't know where to start, if you don't know what to do, the best thing I can tell you is to get number one, um, line us up with the brokerage account, and that means a place you can buy stocks. So, um, Fidelity, Chase, any major institution will allow you to trade stock. Most of them do. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, you know, a few things I would say is go with what you know. All of us are subject matter experts. Like my man, Ike, he knows a lot about media, um, obviously. So why not invest with things you already know about? Why not invest mm -hmm. in Adobe? Why not invest in Nikon? If you love sneakers and you're a sneakerhead, why not invest in things that you already know a lot about? Because you are an expert in that. 
All of us are experts in something, right? That's true. So go with what you know about. My wife, my wife loves shopping. She loves buying TJ Maxx stock and Target stock because she knows about it. She knows when the shopping trends are. She knows when it's heavy and when it's light. She can she can buy and sell stuff because she knows when it's going to be busy and when it won't be busy. She knows that stuff. You know, um, number two, avoid the hype, guys. You know, don't buy something just because it's cool. I think a lot of y'all probably bought Bitcoin. You know, some of y'all bought Bitcoin because it was so cool. You probably had your pastor, your your grandma, you know, somebody on Facebook said everybody bought Bitcoin. And what happened was you lost you lost money in it. <laughs> and it's okay, but it's also important to invest in things you know about. You know, if you don't know what blockchain is, how can you invest in Bitcoin? Mm. You yeah. have to understand the technology behind things. That's why it's so important to invest in things you know about and that you're passionate about and that you want to research. Mm. Um, and in the, the last few things is understand the financial health. Understand why and how a company makes money. And if you don't know that, guys, it's on Google. Google is your best friend. You know, you can click on any company that's public and, and click on um, something like this. And it says financials. It will tell you mm -hmm. all about company's financials and if you don't know how to read a financial statement guys google is your best friend do not be afraid to learn more than what you already know go out there and, and, and go out there and push yourself you know there's never an age to never stop learning you can always yeah. learn something new every single day i understood it's i, I talked to like i you know one of the things for me is like um like, for example, my friend Sanders up here, we were talking the other day and I was telling him about how we had this conversation and he was um, <clears throat> invested in, I think it's called ERI, which is like, a, like a, the, it's basically Vegas. You buy in Vegas. And okay. um, he was like, yeah, because, you know, the casinos, the hotels and stuff. I'm like, OK, all right, that makes sense. Like, I know Vegas. I know traveling. I like understand this whole world. And I don't know specifically, like, the details of, like, MGM and um things like uh i guess like the ship and what and what people are doing with traveling rates are doing but for me i'm like eri like i have it in my watch list but i at least know like along with the vegas the airlines i'm like okay like i like mm -hmm. to fly we fly we have um we have alaska miles we have delta miles and then we have southwest now interesting enough i bought shares of spirit airlines because for me i'm like I, I buy a stock based off if I can afford, like if I can afford enough shares. So let's say Spirit is ten bucks. Let's say I personally like Delta, right? Delta is is the Delta, the Delta for the planes be nice, right? But Delta stock is fifty bucks. I'm just saying it's not really. I don't know if it's a deal. I'm just saying. Let's say Delta stock is fifty dollars. If I got a hundred dollars, I'm like I could get ten shares of Spirit, but I only get two shares of Delta. And as much as I love Delta, I feel like if Delta shares only go up like 10, 20 bucks, I only went up like 20, 30, 40 bucks. But if Spirit goes up $10, I got 10, I can just gain a hundred bucks. And so I base my thought process and no one knows if it's right or wrong, but I just base it off like volume over like qu quantity over quality. Yeah. Yeah. Like I get a lot more of a particular share. That's just my driving factor. I'm like, look, I got, I got 150 bucks and I'm trying to make this hundred. I'm not trying to spend it all on one share of Apple. And then it just go up three dollars in, in the whole, you know what I mean? So let me so let me speak to that real quick. So okay. stop like this, like anything else. I I love good analogy and I like how you use Delta versus Spirit. Um, so you have a hundred dollars, right? I give a hundred dollars, right? Do you want a hundred dollars yes. one dollar bills or a hundred dollars and fifty dollar bills? Okay. Doesn't matter to you. You mean like if somebody gave me the money right now? If, so if, I, if I gave you hundred dollars, you wanted one dollar, mm -hmm. twenty dollar bills, five dollar bills, or fifty dollar bills? It doesn't matter to you. It doesn't matter because I would say it really would depend on how I would spend it. Like if I'm like going to the strip club, I want a bunch of ones. Exactly. Like I'm trying to like flaunt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so let me explain that to you. I love your analogy. And you yeah. to understand that there's nothing wrong. With it's to be a hundred dollars a day, I would have told you to go buy two shares of Delta because mm -hmm. no matter what, the percentages are the percentages. If it goes up 10, 
it goes up 10%. If it goes down 10%, it goes down 10%. You still invested a hundred dollars. So mm -hmm. it's okay to buy one share of something mm -hmm. because if you know that it can go up 10%, it's better you buy a quality company of one share, one share of a quality company versus 10 shares of something that's cheap because you hope mm -hmm. that it goes up. So my point is the percentages are the percentages. A hundred dollars is a hundred dollars, whether it's in ones, fives, twenties, or fifty dollar bills, it's a hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. So your investment is your investment. You want to pick quality gotcha. companies. I guess I guess part of it is just like I like seeing I the that. amount, like ten versus two. Yeah, because you know I mean? again, I like. They, you know, they talk about like I like they say like, oh, you ever see people with the with the with the money stacks next to their ear, next to their face, whatever? And you're like, it's probably a bunch of uh, a ones in there, right? And then you somebody might have the same amount of money, and the stack might be this big. And like I said, it's the same amount of money, but my money perception wise. I want the biggest stack, all right? Because the I biggest stack just <laughs> it go harder. It go harder on the gram when you got the biggest stack. <laughs> I understand. I understand. Look here, hold up. I can't. Me putting this up to my ear, it don't sound right, all right? <laughs> but I, I put the big stack of wipes in my ear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> I understand. I understand. So, like, I like seeing the higher number. That's part of it. Like, oh, I got 20 shares. It went up $2, but look, I got 20. <laughs> yeah, I, I get it. I get it. <laughs> but, yeah, so tell me about this day trader thing because you are what – are what are you? Like, what is your thing? I do all of these. I day trade. I swing trade. I invest for the short term, and I invest for the long term. Um, and I'll say this. The most important thing to understand is that – you know, the first and most important is have a budget. You have to know what you can spend or what you can invest before you invest anything. It's so important to write down what your financial goals are. So that way you understand what you can spend. Because if you don't know that, you can't fully invest in something that you don't might not have. You have to be able to um, lose the amount of money you invest because this is all risk. There's risk in everything you do in life. So you have to be willing to lose the money that you invest mm. you have to be okay with that okay so basically you're saying if i if if i if i could be okay with this hundred dollars but if i invest this thousand i lose it if i might be put on suicide watch so yeah <laughs> i might be homeless because if tosh found out that i lost a thousand dollars yeah might have to be looking out for me a <laughs> hundred dollars shit you ain't gonna say nothing <laughs> yeah it's all about perspective like it's about perspective and it's about risk tolerance how risky you want to be what's your risk for what's your risk tolerance you know you can invest into an etf and an index fund and and have a lower a lower gain or you can invest in one single stock and make a lot of money but again, you can lose a lot of money too. So it's just about how you look at things. Okay, so you're what is what is day trading like for you? Like, cause I feel like you you get the I've seen like the biggest gains. Well, maybe not because because in long term investing you get some pretty big gains too. But like I've seen like some of your stuff on Instagram and you posted some really attractive numbers. So what is day trading like for you? Like how is that? So, yeah, so I have a. You know, I don't do it. I don't. I don't do it as big as I used to do anymore. I'm married now, so my wife. You know, I have to be a little more conscious. But um, <laughs> you know, I, I try. I try to. You know, my daily average is a thousand dollars. I try to make a thousand dollars a day, um, in, in within within a week, right? So a thousand dollars a day within a seven day week. If I don't do that, I at least try to make you know two three hundred dollars a day. That's the goal. Um, the, the high goal is a thousand. The low goal is three hundred dollars a day. And pause, pause, pause. You got a job, okay? Mm -hmm. You get a paycheck from whoever pays you to live. Mm -hmm. You still out here trying to and and you shooting drone weddings, right? You shooting family pictures on the drone, right? How much money are you getting from there? And you still being greedy out here. Got to make a thousand dollars a day. You know what you're <laughs> it's not, you know, for me. I just um, I grew up, I grew up poor. I grew up um, we, like, many times. We went to the shelves to get food. Lights were cut off. Um, <laughs> yeah, one of those real life stories. And so um, I never again want to be in that situation for me and my family. I want to get to the point to where I can I, I can take care of them. 
Um, and then after I leave this earth, hopefully um, my kids can carry on and, and do better than I did. But, you know, when you grow up the way I did, you want it all. Mm, that's all. true. That's true. Uh, yeah, I want it all. And um, whatever it takes to get there, you know, without being illegal, I'm going to do it. <laughs> Look here, because you might, you might catch me. Look, yeah. like, <laughs> put this COVID mask on. <laughs> I'm going out for one thing or another. <laughs> yeah, ski mask away, right. man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. Y'all know about yeah. my past life, but ain't nothing to bump me now. We get to that point. <laughs> yeah, so, we ain't going to yeah. talk about that. <laughs> so, when I trade now, I trade, you know, my trades are about ten to $15,000 trades. So no less than that. Um, you know, wait, wait. When you say ten to fit, like, what? How does so? How does that work? So you spend ten thousand or fit? How does mm -hmm. that work? So yeah, I'll invest. Um, I'll look at a company and I'll buy in right when the stock market opens, and then mm -hmm. I'll try to sell within that first, you know, maybe hour or two. So it might go up, you know, ten percent. So I, if I invest ten thousand dollars, it'll go up ten percent. I'll sell, and my profit will be a thousand dollars off off ten grand. Um, okay, gotcha. Cause and and that's one thing I realized with like a lot, and that was that's almost low key discouraging for me because I'm like, dang, I don't have ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars to invest. Because I'm like, if I did, I again going back to my whole thing about seeing the bigger numbers. If I could buy a um, hundred shares or two hundred shares of whatever company at ten bucks and it went up a dollar, I know I could think like you said a thousand dollars. But I don't even have that to invest, but. You know, you come in each day, right? Like you start the day with like ten to fifteen thousand. Do you just look at a company and say, "Hey, this is I'm going to buy this amount," or is it just like, like what? How how do you like decide? Yeah, on yeah. So let me let me share my screen. Let me let me reshare my screen real quick. I'll um hold on one second. Okay. Uh, here you go. Can you and see part, that? Is that part, 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 part before you get into that? Stan has a question. Yes. Great, great, great. Yes. So Stan, yes. So I use so I use uh TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim. So um exactly right. Um yes, Stanley, you're exactly right. Good answer. You have to have a minimum of twenty-five thousand dollars to invest to day trade. Um and so my account um has well over that, but I, I only trade ten, fifteen thousand dollars in my account. You have to have twenty-five thousand dollars invested as a whole, but I only trade between ten and fifteen. Um, and I use Thinkorswim platform. I'm not today trade, okay? Not today. <laughs> yeah. so, or I, so I use Thinker. So yeah, good, good question, Stan. I use Thinkorswim um, platform to day trade. Um, they'll they're very customizable. You're able to have three or four graphs up at once. Um, you're able yeah. to look at everything, buy and sell orders. You're able to kind of look at graphs. You're able to look at every. Um, Every every kind of every metric you want to bars, um, you're able to look at everything you want to at, at, at an instant um, and make accurate trades based on um, companies want to make you know companies want to profit from. So. This is taking me back because I remember when I used to like I had the E Trade thing, and I know that like the green part, like the green part, the the stock ended up, the red was in the low, and then at the yes. bottom, the blue thing is the volume. So if it's a lot of volume on that stock, a lot of people yes. are moving. Exactly. But, so, it's, yep. Um, like so, a $1,000 is like the average or like what's the most you've made on a day? Like, or like, have you made so much money on Monday that you took the rest of the week off? Or like, how does that work? Yes. Yes. Um, I think my, 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 my biggest pool in was about $15,000 in a day. Um, but I say this too, I've lost, you know, the last week I lost <laughs> about $5,000 on a Monday. So um it goes both ways guys. You lost a nine. You yes. lost a nine. You lost a twenty eight to seventy N O R and in the USR. I'm yeah, this is when you say money, I'm looking at the gear. You lost a MacBook Pro 16 inch uh six point you right to Renata. <laughs> so I'm yeah not, it's not yeah <laughs> it's, it's one of those things that I'm very transparent when I say God it can be lucrative but you can also lose a lot of money. This is not a overnight success. This is not a get rich, you know, scheme. You have to know what you're doing. You have to understand how the market works. Like anything else, if you don't know what you're doing, you can get got. And you don't want to get got in the streets. 
They were trading the this shoes. Is with day the shirt. Yeah. yeah. This is with day trading. See, because I'm I'm sure like if you invest in 15 years, it's not as risky as it is. No, it's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so guys, keep so in mind it's just like because that's what happened to me when I when when I had like gotten a commission check uh, when I think I put like a thousand into a company and then uh, it just went down and I just I saw the numbers go down and it was a bigger face palm. Now, like you said, invest what you can afford to lose. I could afford to lose the money, but that ain't no money I want to lose. I don't care how yeah. much you can afford to lose it. <laughs> when you lose it, it still hurt. It still hurt. It still hurt. I was exactly. down bad for a while. Like it's, it, it hurt my, it hurt me to my soul when I lost that money. Boy, let me tell you. <clears throat> yeah, no, it's okay. You know, and I think most people on this on this call on this chat, you know, investing guys, investing is so important. You know, it's not about so much day trading, it's investing. It's, it's about taking your money and looking at, you know, five, 10 years from now, where do you want to be? At? Mm -hmm. That's why I say it's so important to have a financial goal. Ask yourself, what do you want to be 10 years from now? What do you want to be five years from now financially? You know, gotcha. investing is a great way to do that. And so like, the, you know, it, it seems like, you know, you, you've, you've won, you've made, Overall, you know, you wouldn't be doing this if you're up. So, grand scheme on on the on the on the macro, you're up overall for the yeah. year, right? Or every month, you're up a certain amount of money. Is there like a certain like? Because I'm like, you still work. Like, is there a reason why you still work when you are making so much money day trading, or like? And now I'm not talking about photography because I know like photography is could be a release or whatever. But like, is there a reason why you still decide to like to go to a job when you can make two thousand, two, three, four thousand dollars in a day? On a, on, a, on a flip yeah um so you no know, honest answer i'll be honest transparent um mm -hmm. i got hit with cancer a year ago mm -hmm. um yeah i went through colon cancer and um okay. and that really took me and my wife out of it um i got mm -hmm. i actually got a picture of that man let me see yeah i got a yeah so this, 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 yeah, this is me and the wife man if you on the picture on the right you know, um, well, yeah, I went through cancer, horrible experience. And if y'all don't know that medically, you know, bills can pile up. I think I paid the insurance paid over half a million in mm. half a million dollars in, in for my, my cancer treatment. And luckily mm -hmm. I had insurance. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so for me, it's so important for me to even just keep my day job for me personally, because I'm still going through remission. And so mm. even though I'm making this money on the side, I still have mm -hmm. to worry about taking care of my family because mm, gotcha. you know, okay. uh, anything dealing with chemo and stuff like that mm -hmm. can just can just financially just just destroy you. Take you, yeah, so, take your, yeah. Yeah, exactly. that makes sense. Wow. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't think I didn't even think about that. Like it's funny, right? Because I'm looking at like you get this fast money, but if if you go down, it's like on the streets. If you get locked up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, it's no money isn't it's, it's, it all comes to stop so um but that's interesting so and the colon cancer like it just came out of nowhere yeah it came out of nowhere i'm, I'm healthy no one in my family's ever had it i'm the i'm the lucky one i'm the uh i'm the lucky guy in my family so yeah, um, yeah it, it, was, it was yeah we're you know i'm, I'm remission I, I, we've been we've been clear for about it'll be a year um it actually it's actually gonna be it's gonna be a year in about a few days, man. I oh, nice, been, nice, nice. For a year. So when you put that in perspective, yeah, I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to get it every day. Because every day I wake yeah, up. I like, guess that's yeah. a that's an interesting because like when you are have been so close to death as you are, like you like, no, nah, I ain't got time to play around with y'all. Yeah, like, exactly. To, yeah. I, that that makes that puts things in perspective for me. So that, yeah. That's good. Um yeah. some people got some questions up here. Let me actually yeah, see what yeah, please ask me. Um, I'm all about Squad Boy said from. Oh, and let me actually plug you. So, you guys, anybody has any questions? Like, this is we're just going over like little small, like we're just skimming through the, the skimming things. Um, 
Corey has a class. He has a whole thing. It's a link right below in the description. He has a Facebook class. Like, this is something small. Who knows what it might, might become? He might be uh, Corey Ramsey when we tell him. To. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, what is it? Uh, Corey, Corey Sebastian Watkins. Corey Watkins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sebastian <laughs> Watkins, <laughs> your black world. You know what I'm saying? Voice. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, but uh, he has a um a link that you can click on. So if you are more interested, you want more in depth, you can come to him. He can teach you more about this stuff. I just wanted to have this information out here because, like I said. You know, the photo shoots and stuff, that's all fun. But I do want to have more conversations like this with people about, like, other areas of, like, just money and life. Like, how to, like, you know, I have things I want to talk to people about SEO. I want to talk to people about, like, booking clients, about finding clients, and about money. And, like I said, this thing is, is a, a personal thing because, like I said, like, the whole, the whole story about um, Netflix and stuff like that. Like, I know, I've seen, like you said, your chart. I've seen the chart. I'm like... It's a no brainer. If somebody told me, hey, if, if I give you a thousand dollars today, today in 2020, in 10 years, in 2030, if that whole thousand dollars, you can take out ten thousand dollars in 10 years, like who would say no to that? Especially if you got a thousand dollars like saved up. Like that's a no brainer. Like I make a couple of, you know, the, we're not going to talk about how much money I make because you know, leave that alone. But, uh, <laughs> but knowing what I know now, I just feel like I want. Every, I want every you guys to know. I don't want to be sitting here like, oh, you should have did this, or you didn't know. Like, if I have information, I want to share it to you guys. And I'm not smart enough to explain this stuff to people. So if I'm not smart enough, I get somebody who is. And so that was kind of like, I was like, oh, this guy knows. Let me get you out here and connect you. I'm like, my role is a connector. Like, I'm always connecting people. But um, anyways, what were you, were you were you talking about here? Oh, no, this is my, these are my stocks that I like, that I think that okay. will still be successful in the next four to five years. These are things that um, that I'm invested in today. This is mm -hmm. um, my opinion, you know, nobody else's. But these are things like Amazon. You know, Amazon's huge. Google's huge. Apple, Cisco Food, Cisco Foods is a is a is a ringer. But every single time you go to the hospital or you go to your school or you order food from Chili's, Cisco Food brings it to you. Cisco Food mm. is everywhere. You know. Um, Boeing Airlines, we know about Boeing. You make the planes, you fly on. TJ Maxx, every woman I know loves TJ Maxx. They go there all the time. Visa, you got credit card swipes, Target, and you got Disney. So it, it, it's a nice portfolio of things that are going to be here years later. If you buy them today, they should, in fact, go up in price and value. You know, because people right. say use them every single day. You got all the expenses. Can, can you can you put a stock that's for the broke boys? Like, oh, no. <laughs> I can't afford one of these shares right now. Uh, right? Give me a give give me some give me something that give give me a price point. Give me a price point, and I, I I'm definitely I can give me something like, hey, I want to spend. And like what like like let let's say I got like five let's say like three to five hundred dollars. Okay. Like what's a, a, a list? Because you like Amazon alone is like a couple. Oh thousand. yeah. Like, I'm, like, sorry. I'm sorry. You give I'm sorry about I'm that. like, bro, I'm that's a Z. I, I, so I just got you, my Z six. I can re up for. <laughs> nah, if you if you if you if I had to say you have five hundred dollars a day and you got to okay. split it a few ways, I really do love. Um, the broke um, boy list. Here we go. Nah, <laughs> we ain't got it broke. Bro. Nah, man. <laughs> was it uh what is it? Square what is it? Um what's that? So what's that payment method? Square um squared it's up to the PayPal. It's uh you it's squared what's the name of that? Uh it's squared Oh, hold on. Man. You're talking about the Let Square me. Payment app? Yeah. Like Cash App? Because don't they own Cash, Cash App or something like that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I really love um I, I really love Square. It was Square. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm having a brain. I have no Yeah, yeah, uh, no, no, no. Take your time. Take your time. Yeah, I love Square. So Square stock, right? So okay. um, I'll bring this up right here. You know they're contactless. So I love Square. Yeah, Square. I love Square. I love their stock. Great mm -hmm. price point. 
um, you know, as we move towards, you know, getting away from big banks and doing to more, as more entrepreneurs go out there and have their own businesses and want to take payment from anybody anywhere, and a small mm -hmm. business do this, Square is set up to Square is set up for the small business. Square is mm -hmm. set up for the entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you know, Visa, Mastercard. You know, a lot of times people want to people want to spend want to send money or pay for things with their credit card or with mm -hmm. their cell phone. Square is set up for that market. And it's a great price. It's about, so if I had $500 today, I would definitely invest for Square in the future. Um, they have great financials. Um, yeah, I, they, have, they have great financials. Look, look, look at this. So you know, their revenue, their year over year, they're making 40% of money. Look at that. Look at this, guys. They're just making money. Money on top of money. You go ahead and open my Robinhood app right now. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I love Square. Too much. Square. And just the numbers alone, 40% up every. So last year, they made 40% money this, this year. And you have to be on track. Next year, you're going to do the same. They look, as long as entrepreneurs making money and spending money, they're out there. Mm -hmm. They're a great company to buy. I love them. I, would, I, I invest into them now. So that's my number one stock pick. If I had to pick one. Oh, so Square is SQ. SQ is Square. Yeah, so SQ. Cool. Yes. Yes, it is. It's a great company to own. Okay. Um, one more that I like um, that I would have to say is Disney. It's, you know, if I had $500, I'd probably buy a few shares of Disney. Guys, It's Disney's oh. not going anywhere. Um, they're big on streaming. Um, they own ESPN. Great, great, great stock to own. Um, right now, obviously right now the parks are closed, but later on they'll be okay. <clears throat> Disney, Disney is interesting. Although, like, I got beef with Disney because they, they, they sort us on the hype of Disney Plus app. That app is trash. I, I got done with, uh, <laughs> I got done with, uh, what's the name? Um, what's that dude? What's the show called? <laughs> with the uh, what? Yeah, I forget so his name. I, 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 I got Disney app. I, I got Disney Mandalorian. The Mandalorian. The Mandalorian. Oh, Mandalorian. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, yo, I, what, Disney app. Y'all played me. I know. I still yeah. got. The app because you know, I got kids, so yeah, you see, 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 yeah, you know, man. My, my daughter's like uh, Doc McStuffins and all that stuff. So we, we, thank you, man. You, you helped me out. Thank you, man. You helped me out right now, man. Keep on, keep on keeping it, man. <laughs> Somebody said, uh, what about beer company? Beer companies make a few, like, a few yeah. Beers. So people, you know, it's a funny thing. People drink more when there's situations mm. like this. They drink a lot mm. more. Yeah, you know what? I ain't gonna so lie. I do, I do. I do got a little bit more alcohol. Yeah, than I know exactly. Everybody. <laughs> I've been hitting up. I've been hitting up the gas station, getting them little mics hard. <laughs> yeah, you know, companies like Coca Cola, right? It's a great. You know, think about it. What is that? What, what is that? Jack and Coke, right? Comes like Coca Cola. Oh you know, yeah, yeah. They, yeah. they pay a yeah. great dividend. It's a good price. Mm -hmm. It'll be here for a long time. Yeah, they're not going nowhere. They're not going nowhere, guys. We can talk all day about great companies. About yeah, 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 right. yeah. There's great that's, that's, that's it. Okay, a whole lot of companies, not a lot of the money to spend. But shit, that, that's interesting. So, like, you know, I guess it's up to us personally to decide on like which one we want to like put our money yeah. in and which way we want to go in and stick with it. And so, you're saying these companies. Uh oh. We lost you. So you said these come. Well, we lost you, Mike. Ike, 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 we lost you. We lost you. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, man, you might want to buy some, uh, some, some Duracell battery stock. Hold on, man. Okay, we back. <laughs> it went black. No, I don't have the dummy battery for this camera, so I'm recharging batteries over this on the Z6. It's interesting because like I did this with Kijun and them, and it, the camera lasted the whole time, so I thought it was lasting the whole time. 
So. Yeah, but there's so many stocks. There's so many companies out there. Um, look at AutoZone stock, guys. A thousand dollars. Yeah, you th stop pulling up these rich boy stocks, all right? You <laughs> My you point know, is, so many. That's, the whole, that's the whole stimulus check right there. We just <laughs> you know, the point is, there's companies out there that, um, that you had bought this ten years ago. It's crazy. You know, this makes you think, guys. This was ten years ago. This was one thirty-eight. Lord Jesus, Lord. Yeah, this is a hundred dollars ten years ago. <sighs> ten years ago, and this is this is the whole point of this whole stream is like yes. that right there is like it. it the, the what you're telling me now, like right, you're saying, hey, invest in Disney or Coca Cola, and yes. if ten years from now, if Disney is a thousand dollars. Like, matter of fact, all y'all who invest, right? <laughs> ten years, <laughs> I come up. Hit my, yeah. hit my hit my cash out because you know I know we know Square will still be around. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> hit a Square. Hit my Venmo. <laughs> exactly. Bang my line. It's like they just said, bang my line. <laughs> my point is, guys, do your research. Do your research. Listen to yourself. It's okay to listen to the people, but do your research. You are responsible for your money and how you spend it. Okay. So that's one piece of advice I can give you. So I said, doesn't the Z6 uh, USB? The Z6, um, you can charge the, the rechargeable battery via the USB, but you can't use the camera while it's charging at the same time. Like, you can't charge the battery while it's charging. And um, and I just think, I just, I'm just running off the battery, that's all. So, But I, I have a bunch of batteries, so I knew if it died, I could replace it. I got plenty of batteries, so it's not a big deal. Um. But yeah, no, this is this is a good conversation. This is really good, exciting. man. I'm glad. Uh, yeah. Somebody said, "What's the difference types of trading? Day trading is." Oh yeah, you already had that slide up, right? Different types of trading. I did. I did. Um, there's. Hold on, let me see. There's the. Um, I and can, also um, about this, like, uh, let let's say people want to get more into. Are there like it, it, investment groups or like, like? I mean, I know you have your whole classes. Like, that's something you recommend people join. Or do you know if like any groups? Yeah, of like, course. Um, this is a website called Investopedia, guys. This is a great website. It allows mm -hmm. you to understand investing for free. You know, there's it's free, and they go through investing essentials, what that looks like. It's a great website. It's free. I would definitely start here. Um, it goes through what investing is, um, what stocks are. It breaks mm -hmm. down everything, and it, and it gives you. There's a, there's a simulator to where you can you can play with fake money, and they'll give you a hundred thousand dollars in virtual cash to um, test your skills. Oh, so that's where people can like and, and like play with the play money, like what yes, you're saying. Yes, exactly, exactly. Okay, it's a great nice, place. Nice, nice. Yes, I definitely would start start here, um, and just really learn all you can, and it takes a little bit of effort, but it, it helps out, pays a lot of dividends, guys. I love this place. It's a great website to start off at. Interesting, interesting. This is a, a nice little concept. We didn't we didn't hit that hour mark, so um, uh, you got time for a little Q and A from anybody? Yeah, I got plenty of time, man. If y'all got, got any questions, like my guy, my guy said he got, you know, I tried to hit him up early. He was like, "No, nah, you gotta wait." Which worked out. Yeah, nah. <laughs> I, you guys, I've been trying to get him to talk. I had hit him up like weeks ago to talk, and I just been <laughs> trying to get my life together. So, um, but well, yeah, ask me any questions. Hey, like, did you did you did you trade today? I did. I did. How was today? Was today a good day or a bad day for you? Today was a great day. The market um, opened up down but then it turned back it opened up red which is bad and then uh -huh. it turned out to be green so i made a few hundred dollars a day not a bad day okay, all right, cool. like nice. it's not bad man um <clears throat> in like uh, let me ask, ask you about the whole the whole environment right now right with the whole recession and like what do you feel like because do you feel like we hit a bottom or you do because i'm i'm skeptical about, about what's going on here i'm like yo I know this thing hit and then they sent the stimulus money out and things are kind of like riding the way back up a little bit. But I feel like there's still some more damage to be done because of the unemployment numbers and people still ain't working. And, you know, it's not like a all in one, like even with the 2008 crash, it just went low over time. So how mm -hmm. do you feel about the entire market in general? 
Um, I feel like we're I feel like we're not near a bottom yet. I, I feel like we've we've hit a point, but you know, I, I I can say this about the coronavirus. My wife's a nurse, and so she's mm-hmm. out there in the hospitals every day. She's out there grinding. She's out there dealing with sick people. Sick. She's a pediatric. She deals with sick kids, and she's mm-hmm. seen numbers after numbers after numbers of just people sick and who are dying. And she's told me multiple times she's had kids die already um, that she's treated. And so I don't see this getting better. You know, not anytime soon. There's not a vaccine for this. There's not anything that's going to stop this, guys. So um, until that happens, I, I think we're still in this kind of social distancing. You know, mm-hmm. how do we ha- how, how do we go back to a wedding now that had 200 people? I don't see that happening yeah. anytime soon. You know, yeah. how do we, yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. How, how do we go back to that, guys? Are, yeah, so that's, that's interesting because, like, I, I, I felt like, yo, like, a lot of stocks that I looked at, they were like hit their 52 week low and then it went back up quite a bit. But I'm like, like, so for example, and not that I'm even looking at it, but like Royal Caribbean, like the cruise lines, they were like at like nine bucks now. It's up to like 17, 18 bucks. But I'm like, it's got to go back down. So let's say you wanted to jump in at um, 20 bucks a share. It's, I feel like it's starting to go back down. Like, do you think people should like wait or just pick a company and just do it and just stick with it? And just kind of. I'll say you know, this. If you have, that's why it's so important, guys, to find out how much you can invest. If you have $500, don't put all your money at once. Take your time to invest. So maybe you do $100 today and then you do $100 a week from now. And then maybe you wait a little bit. And then maybe you do another $100 a month from now. You take your time with your investments. You don't have to hit it all at once. You can, because if the market goes down, you can average down. If the market goes up, you can average up. You don't have to do, you don't have to hit a home run, guys. Get on base. Get on base with it. Gotcha. Okay, that's good to know. Cause I'm like, yeah, if I if I get hype and I put the whole five hundred dollars in, and then you know the market goes down another thirty percent, and I'm like, shh. If I'm sitting on that money, you know, should I just wait it out or take it out and just try again? Or like you said, I guess you said just kind of over time. There's no rush, right? It's a it's a marathon, yeah. not a race, right? The number one thing I would say is that understand that you never lose money until you sell so let's say right now I have roll covering up right for forty dollars you know at one point it was 135 so you're saying oh man i made my money back like three you know two or three times easy easy yeah. come up right yeah. but what if tomorrow you buy it today and tomorrow goes down to twenty dollars now yeah. your half your money's gone do you sell no you bought it for a reason you bought it because yeah. you like that stock for a reason so now you just wait. Now you're in the waiting game because you know you have a good stock. You know, Royal Caribbean is huge. They're not going to go anywhere. They're going to be here five years from mm-hmm. now. So mm-hmm. you had to have a little more patience now. You can't go in there and if you sell your stock, you lose the money. That's how it works. Mm-hmm. You never sell or make money. You never lose or make money until you sell. Gotcha. Okay. That's good. That's good to know. Um, Real Van Life had a question. So I see your question. A lot of churches are losing money and in danger of closing. What advice would you give to churches, especially smaller store, smaller okay. storefronts? Yeah, you know, um, I, I say this, and I, and I think this this advice goes for any institution or church or individual. You know, if you're thinking about the long about the long run, then yes, I, I don't I don't see a problem with investing. But again, you have to invest in smart companies, guys. Like me and my wife, we go to Target like three times a week. You know, I have stock in Target, I have stock in Costco. You know, there's again, there's there's a risk, there's a there's a risk portfolio, and you never want to, you know, there's always risk in everything you do, but you never want to take that risk so high that you potentially lose your money. Walmart, you know, Walmart's not going anywhere, guys. So I, you know, the blue chip stocks, Walmart, Visa. Target stuff like stuff, you know. Target's not blue stop, it's not a blue chip stuff, but companies that are going to be here, they're going to benefit a few years from now. I would definitely invest in companies that have strong balances that make money. Definitely, would I invest in airlines today? No, um, would I invest in Target today? Yes, so mm-hmm. just you know, kind of weigh your options, guys. It's all about risk. It's about mm-hmm. you know, look at that Procter and Gamble. I think someone mentioned Procter and Gamble, great company, you know. Investing in companies that make tide. People still gotta wash clothes, right? 
it was investing in you still gotta make masks right you gotta wear a mask you know mm -hmm. investing companies gotta make the next you know vaccine abbott laboratories you know lab court quest diagnostics we gotta have testing right so why not invest into quest diagnostics or lab court Okay. I think I think outside what you normally know, you know, invest in Apple, you know, invest into Microsoft. Technology is big. So that's yeah. my advice. Okay. And so um, going back to photography and stuff, uh, that EOS R5 is coming out, you know, real soon, any day now. Let's say I got, th I got, I got my $200 stimulus check. What's the easiest yeah. way to flip that? In the stock market, so I can buy the US. <laughs> now you want to gamble, huh? You want to gamble. <laughs> All right. if you, look, get, get. I'm not telling y'all to do this, but if you uh -huh. want to do this, oil right now is a quick way to make some quick cash. If you want to play the up and down game, you can mm -hmm. make a lot of money in oil because oil one day is down 20% and it's up 40%. You can make some money if you hit the, if you hit the oil and gold. Gold, a lot of money right now. Okay, all right, gold. Cool. So, so, do you, so what's the? Do you have like the uh, Your Black World Fund, Case Sebastian uh, ETF? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get my money back quick. <laughs> the, the, the games you're talking about, I'm like, if I put, if I'm putting in 10 percent, can you like promise me back like eight percent, ten, twenty percent return? No, I cannot do that, man. That was... <laughs> <laughs> you trade at your own risk. You trade your own risk, guys. It's your own uh, risk. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, what's up? Um, I, I met Vincent uh, in uh, in the Bay Area. Yeah, so it's a good guy. He said, what's up? I made three. Yeah. That's when the market so was. Yeah, he said, take that. advantage. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Oh, people's fear. Um, there's, you know, that's interesting because, yeah. like, you know, people are like taking it, which is, this is the reason why the, the, the stock market is doing good, right? Because essentially, um, People are selling, which drives the prices down. It's not necessarily yes. anything, but people selling to, to that's driving the prices down. Like yes. the, the companies haven't done anything to make the stock go. The stock exactly. going up and down are just based on people buying and selling, and that's it. Exactly. So what they say, Warren Buffett says, you buy stocks when people when, when people are fearful, when people are scared. Mm -hmm. That's when you buy. People are really happy about life. That's when you sell. You're the opposite. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. That's that's good. Yeah. That's a good word. So, um, you know, I, I would say like even most people's situations, like my biggest is like, oh, the market is down. Now I need to have the money. Now, how you get that money? <laughs> so, yeah, so, yeah. We can have that conversation <laughs> later on about like how to uh, book and client stuff. Check out. Um, what is that guy? Uh, Flash Film Academy. Isn't he? Had a, he's out of Dallas, too, right? I think it's Ty. Um, oh yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He does like Ty. He does Flash. He talks about like uh, clients and stuff. Like, he's it's a good. That's a good like source of uh, for like business and stuff. But um, you know, figure out how to make some money so that you can invest the money back into exactly. the market so you can gain. Because this this time is like one of the rare few times where like you get this chance to get these companies at a discounted rate because they only going high. Even the 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 the, the, the low price. These companies haven't been this low in, in a while because I looked at the old prices. And I'm like, yeah, Apple is down, but they're not back down yeah. to ten dollars like they were, and 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 Nike is down, but they're not back down to ten dollars like it was ten exactly. years, ago, twenty years. So even Microsoft, I remember looking at Microsoft when it was like twenty thirty. I remember all of these companies ten years ago when they were like around twenty thirty bucks a share. They exactly. down now, but they still not as low as they used to be. So um, things only going yeah. up eventually. So. But yeah, yeah let's like, any more questions. questions? <clears throat> All right. So once again, how do we find you? Like, what's your class about? Like, tell us about your thing that you got going on. Yeah, it's a free class, guys. It's free. Again, it's free. I think the link, he has a link in there. Um, I have a class once a week, every Saturday, about 11 o'clock. Um, we just go through financial principles, go through the stock market, how it works, how to um, leverage your money. And again, it's completely free. I don't ask for money. Um, I want you to take your money and invest it. That's my hope for you. I don't want you to give me anything. I don't need anything. I just want you to do better. I want you to be better. I want you to exceed in whatever dreams and hopes you have um, and kill it. You know, that's, a, that's yeah. That's what's up, man. I appreciate you uh, 
giving us this game and telling us about the market. I hope that like when people watch this, they walk away with some kind of new insight. Or if, if this if this helps at least one or two people out, it's it's enough for me. Because I remember like I had a conversation on the phone with a guy. Like I, the, the, my information came from me just talking to customers on a daily basis, and he mentioned it, and that sparked a that put a spark in my in my head about this whole thing. And then like it just grown over time. So like maybe somebody will watch this and be like, okay, cool. But like maybe it'll put a spark in somebody to like invest their money in it. Conversations yeah. like this. Like I just want to have conversations that are different from the, you know, because I, I I you know, excuse me, like but we do the function on my channel too. Like we got time. <laughs> <laughs> team fuck shit all day but also as the other side of me it's like yo like how can we better ourselves and make our financial situation better so that like everybody eating everybody's doing good you know so and i just want to help my people out so i agree man yeah yeah, i agree I got a shameless plug man i got to man i got a shameless plug on here i got to (laughs) Oh, that's what Cannon doing? The Cannon got the eye. Uh, got them tones, man. Got them tones, man. The tones be popping, man. <laughs> Y'all ain't got that on Nikon, man. Looking all flat stuff. Y'all ain't got them tones like that. First of all, first of all, <laughs> okay, I put, I, I changed my settings up like this. Yo, okay. yeah, I changed the settings though, man. Yeah, yeah, I changed, I changed it because I like, because I like to edit my color in later. So that's why. I, okay, like, facts. I like a little more neutral color, but I got, got a good you. base. We start with a good base. Yeah, um, a good strong base, man. A good strong yeah, yeah. So like, we got a nice little foundation yeah. working there. <laughs> <laughs> but no, this um, is fun. so. Um, oh yeah, this is about yeah. dinner time. Me to start giving it because it's like yeah, four the, yeah. on, the, on the grill. So, um, okay, can you well, trade you even me, if you owe through the loans? Yeah, of course you can, man. Yeah, yeah. of yeah, course, right. yeah. But yeah, no. Trade um, anything. You guys, if you enjoyed this conversation, if you got something, hit the thumbs up. Uh, holla at Corey. I put his Instagram below. So just you know, reach out to him. You know, tell him you enjoyed the conversation. Follow him on Instagram. You know, reach out to him. You know, and please empower this guy to do more of this stuff so that more yeah, of us can do this. Especially as a photographer, because like you don't hear a lot of. I was. We made a joke earlier that like all of a sudden, if you're on Facebook. Everybody is a financial advisor or a DJ, like <laughs> DJ now, and offering financial advice, which is cool because I get it like this. But like a, a few months ago, one nobody was talking about stocks. Now all of a sudden, everybody want to talk about stocks, which is cool. But like I'm like, all right, this guy does it. Like he does it on a high on a on a high scale, and it's just a conversation that I just want to be had. So, I right, what's his YouTube? Yeah. D Mac in the description, just just hit the description and I put links of stuff in the description. And he just had his screen up on the um on the thing. Yeah. We're up again for Demon last minute. So right, man. Yeah, there okay. you go. You can uh shoot. There you go. Oops, my bad. All right, there you go. Yeah, there's the Instagram, there's the uh you know website yeah follow me on there i always post a lot of stock stuff on my instagram it's a good combination of stocks and uh, photography you know my whole thing is hey you hire me you get stocks and photography you get both <laughs> you know, with a one two man <laughs> yeah man i hit my client with, i hit the client with the, with the one two man hit him, hit like, oh, with the, uh, me. let me show you how to afford me all right I mean, yeah yeah <laughs> Hey, you don't know how many people have hired me because of stock. They're like, hey, you do fuck, you do stock? I'm like, yeah, you can you, you do both. I'm like, yeah, we can sit down. After I after I take your pictures, maybe we'll sit down and you know, we can that's talk dope. about some stock stuff, man. Yeah. Hey, that's the real that's right there. Hey, put me in your will just in case you know. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> let me tell my wife real quick, man. Let me let them tell that I gonna be in the will. I can I can I, I can the whole crew gonna be in the will, man. All of them. Right. Yeah. Let me be. Um <laughs> When the, oh, I was gonna say when the next because I saw you post a joint using the um, the ice cream man come by and I was like oh this guy living in a good neighborhood I see them the no nah, man <laughs> <laughs> he out the hood doing good <laughs> ice cream man charged like five dollars a five dollars a bar man he making money in there man he know y'all got it he's like sure y'all got it <laughs> I've been around yeah, ice cream man. going on ice cream man make money man five dollars a bar man he ready 
You ready? Yeah, no, that's a. Hey, if, if you can invest in a local ice cream joint, that's something that's gonna be around too. <laughs> exactly. A swing trade, like buying on the summer on these summer stocks, then and then sell yeah. with uh, Paul Camaro. But anyway, we'll come back. Anyways, once again, um, I enjoyed this conversation. This was fun. This Hopefully, was it was fun, man. Everybody else. I enjoyed the conversation. Hit the thumbs up. Oh, Vince said he just gave you a follow. Oh, okay, dope, <laughs> cool, man. I appreciate cool it. Like I said, once again, if you if you got here late, I met him at WPPI last year. He was a part of the uh, photo walk. And you saw him up on the screen. I put stuff up there. He was, took a picture of Mariah on the EOS. So I think he was the only one there with the cannon, right? Oh, no, 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 no. Um, My other friend had a cannon, too. I think yeah. it was like the 5D Mark IV. Yeah, most, yeah, yeah. The Sony's and the Nikon's at the at the four. Yeah, mostly wall. I had them. You mostly had them other stuff, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all had them other stuff, man. Um, y'all had them. Hold on, oh, I, hold on. I, I got a picture right here. Here you go. Since I heard, let me see real quick. Since you done talked about it eight times, it was uh, it was. Yeah, it was oh, that yeah, picture. Yeah, man. yeah, that that came up in the joint. But right, that's cool. That's the homie too. Yeah, <laughs> man. She's uh, she's dope, man. And that was with the uh the, the F4, right? The kit, the EOS. Yeah, man. That was I, I didn't even do yeah, that was pretty much like yeah, that was a straight that was a great that was a great um yeah man, it was easy with ESOR, man. Like easy. I love I, I, I love that camera, man. That camera's fine. Have you seen yourself going more mirrorless, like in the future and you have the five. Oh yeah, right man. Now. It's you know, you know how I shoot all raw. I shot that picture mm -hmm. JPEG. <laughs> oh damn. Yeah, it was like that. I that stuff. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, that was um, that was a fire. That was JPEG, man. So it's interesting it was, you say that because I still shoot yeah. raw, but like what mirrorless? You know, you you keeping your exposure pretty right in camera. So usually mm -hmm. when I'm shooting uh, raw, I'm not doing that much more different than what I'm doing to the JPEG. And real talk. Um, I've edited a few JPEG images for clients. I'm like, oh, let me just edit the JPEG. I ain't gonna mess with the raw. I'm just like, forget it, because I don't need that much latitude. I'm not doing that much to the photo. So that's exactly. I shot. I came to your event, man. Shot that JPEG. I was like, whoa. I ain't got to do no more. I ain't do no more raw now. Oh, space, <laughs> man. JPEG. JPEG fire, man. We good. Yeah. Yeah. No, the JPEG qualities of JPEGs have gotten better on these cameras. I think it's underrated how much the processing in the cameras of jpegs especially fuji to me fuji got some of the best jpegs is the the tones from the fuji and the sharpness they got some of if, if i was ever going to shoot jpeg for the rest of my life it'd be on the fuji camera yeah you, you know? don't yeah 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 you don't need um oh, you yeah, don't need honor, raw, honor man. he was at the uh honor was at the shoot he said that fuji jb i don't know <clears throat> yeah um, you don't have to shoot um it's raw, man. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, I appreciate you having me, man. I appreciate you having me out. It was fun, really fun, man. No um, problem. This was harmless, a nice little conversation, and you know, when else will come from here? So, um, like I said once again, everybody, thank you for joining the live stream. Hit that thumbs up below. Share this video if somebody's like thinking about getting the stocks, so you can point them in this direction. Yeah, definitely. Uh, um, reach out to me anytime. Like, I, I mean it. Like I'm never gonna steer you away. Like ask me any questions. Like, I just want everybody to be, be be good, man. He posts. He be posting the results from his trades on Instagram. So like yeah. you know he's a real deal. So he show you what he's doing out there right there. Yeah, good hey, or bad, your man. Hair? Cause your hair kind of low. Who's your hey, brother? man, I can't tell. It's COVID-19, <laughs> bro. I can't tell the secrets, man. I'm like, you're looking kind of fresh over there, and I'm over yeah, here. Yeah, I had a fresh <laughs> cup, man. Fresh, <laughs> fresh. Um, yeah, man, COVID-19 struggles, man. The barber came by. Woo-woo, cut me up a quick. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. <laughs> he was snitching the fly. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm a snitcher, man. He came through. He, he was all masked up, man. He was oh, all masked God. up, man. You know, yeah, man. <laughs> Yeah, he, he laced me up real quick, man. COVID nineteen, yeah. man. You know. All right, then. Uh, I, yeah, yeah. I, was like, I was like, oh, you know what? I started looking at them self barber uh, videos, and I was like, nah, I'm just gonna have to order me some clippers because I tried to hold out, but they just hold pushed on, off back to the thirty first. So now nah, we free. Oh, but real quick though, that was that was EOSR too, man. At the camp, that's a JPEG, bro. Oh yeah, you shot this out there too, right? Yeah, yeah that's a JPEG, man. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Who is this with? Who is this um, with? Uh, uh, Raya, uh, Raya, yeah, man. She she had a, a walking um, 
a few. Oh, where few, Whitney? Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. She had to walk okay, out there, yeah. but when I brought that out there, that's that's straight JPEG too. I, that's look at that detail, man. That's crazy. You know what? The I ESOR mean, is a beast. I ain't even gonna lie. That the, 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 that's why I be telling people, man. Them uh them shirt of the camera colors. When you get a camera, that's they got that good touch, color. Look, that's, right that's out the camera yeah. raw, ain't done nothing to it yet. I haven't even touched nothing up, man. That's just raw. The client will take it too. They they like they they'll take it with, uh, with no with no regard. Like just uh, so you, nah, you man. More, um RF lenses? Um, I don't think so, man. I think I think I'm gonna just kind of um adapt the 24 to one. Yeah, the, the uh, 24 to 105 I got is clean. I, I mm. can't say I really need I mean, <laughs> that thing is clean, man. I, I can't say. That's an all-around lens. Gotcha, yeah, I, really gotcha. don't, I really don't need to. Um, I really don't need to. And I got, I got, I got my old old lenses, my L lenses. So yeah, the L lenses. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, that, yeah. yeah so, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm yeah, switching man. R to C lenses. So I'm, 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 I'm like you know, I didn't, I've already replaced all of my my ones for this. And so going forward, any new lenses I'm buying, I'm just going off because I'm switching on mirrors. So I just the, yeah. lenses, the quality, maybe not so much, but Nikon for sure. Like their Z lenses are much better than their F mount lenses. Some are just like a little bit better. Some are like way better. So. Nah, I'm RF or clean, but I, that's that's a lot of money, man. I can't drop two yeah, three K on lens. Yeah, the Z lenses ain't ain't that ain't because not they're not that expensive like the RF ones nah, are. So that is the RF ones. So you you can buy two or three Nikon Nikon. Camera with yeah, that man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah. So, anyways, all right. Let's go on out here. I'm gonna end the broadcast. Peace out, all right, man. Take care. All right.